reason people come to New York Presbyterian is because we have been doing Living Donor for more than 15 years because we're focused on reducing the risks to donor because we've been a pioneer in the use of laparoscopy for donor surgery and we're focused on helping recipients recover as fast as possible. Around the country there is a shortage of deceased donor organs. Nationally there's about 15,000 patients waiting for liver transplants and only 6,000 transplants get done each year. Living donor liver transplant is a way to increase the number of patients that get transplanted so that many of those patients who are waiting don't succumb to their disease. Living donor liver transplantation is the use of a portion of someone's liver, someone who is alive, to replace the diseased liver uh, of someone who has end-stage liver disease. Living donation provides a mechanism for being treated for your disease before you get too sick. It is a gift of life. Um, the liver has the unique ability to regenerate. A healthy liver grows back when you remove a piece. So it is an opportunity for a friend, a family member, a loved one to give a piece of a liver to a recipient to a patient, the person who gives the gift of life, it will grow back, and the person who gets that piece of liver, it will also grow. Living donor transplants, we expect, will function just as well as a deceased donor transplant, and because the donor is healthy and the organ um, has very little time out of the body, um, nearly all of them function immediately. Patients who have hepatitis, who have cancer, who have autoimmune disease, um, children and adults are all eligible to receive a living donor. It is better to do a living donor earlier on. Um, it's always better to pursue things earlier rather than later, because earlier you always have more options. The longer you wait, the more your body suffers. Your kidneys are not working, your heart is being stressed, your brain is not functioning well, you're losing muscle mass. The more muscle mass you lose, the weaker you are, the longer the recovery takes. Our vision is always to make it safer, easier, and to make recovery faster. An advantage of living donor surgery is you can time it. You can pick a date. So both your, it's less stressful for the family because they both know when it's gonna happen. Waiting for that phone call that may or may never come can be very hard. The patient who is facing end-stage liver disease has to become an expert on so many different things. I think it can be helpful to bring your family and friends into that conversation, into that process of learning about it early on. Discuss living donor as an option. You may not want to do it, but at least give your family the option to hear what the risks are, to evaluate for themselves if they want to come forward or not. If you don't discuss it and you keep saying, I'm fine, I'm fine, until you're not fine, until you're in the ICU, and then everybody wants to help you, and now you're too sick. In the last year in New York Presbyterian, we did the largest number of living donor liver transplants in the country. We're very experienced. We have a multidisciplinary team that consists of transplant hepatologists, transplant surgeons, transplant psychiatrists, social workers, and we really take a comprehensive approach to both the donor and the recipient. Having a multidisciplinary team, having a well-functioning team means you have more choices, more options, better outcomes. Every year we have a party around the holidays for all the patients who have undergone transplant at New York Presbyterian. For me, that's one of the nicest things to see these patients who have been so sick with end-stage liver disease coming back and celebrating after their transplants together. I feel an enormous connection to the people who have come to us with liver disease. When I look at a family member who has asked their brother, sister, mother, father to consider donation, I think that they have asked me to safeguard that person. Our vision is to grow make it a stronger program, make it a bigger program, and really help more of our patients so that our patients don't fall off the list. I think we provide for people who are facing end-stage liver disease the best care in the world. We don't guarantee outcomes, but what we do guarantee is that we will make every effort 
to do our very best and that the care that we will provide is the best in this country. The goal is to help people recover life.